Hey guys, Blueferly here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you my vault, all the things in my vault, be telling you about my vault, and be showing you on the outside of my vault. So, like, a little vault review. And then, before we start going there, I'm going to be talking about how I built it. So, I started yesterday, it took me about three hours to build this vault, it took about 18 stacks of obsidian. And it was a lot of help to use the um, sponge, because you'll be able to see that in a second, where the base is. But, let's start going. It's a pretty standard vault. Pretty much unrateable to the point of you guys overclaiming it. So, let's start looking in the chests. And all these chests, I have all my prop four which are not covered up by any blocks, it's not that important to me. So a lot of prop 4. Let's go up in these chests. These are all my PvPing soup, which I love my chocolate milk. So of course, everything has to say chocolate milk on it. Then let's start going to the other PvP stuff. I got all my pods. All the pods you need for a good fight on this server. Then the bottom chests. I got all my OP swords. Some regular Titan swords on the bottom. My bow chest, which is starting to get there. Pretty shitty right now. Reg prot 2. Prot 3. Get rid of that stuff soon. Then let's get up in these top chests. Just a bunch of random crap. Except for the these. Might as well just fill that up right now. Some ender pearls. Just some reg base stuff. Nothing for a vault to have. <laughs> this chest is my tool chest. All my sharp five axes, all my OP bows, a variety of really good pickaxes. <laughs> So, what next? Let's start getting to the better chest. This chest is going to contain all my earth supplies, I guess you could say. All the blocks, a bunch of emerald blocks from a raid I've had like a month ago on Mr. Avenger. Then I got some diamond blocks, gold for them god apples. Then a bunch of iron, some wood, I don't know why that's in there. And some sponge, which helped me out on this base. As you can see on the mini-map, we're in the middle of an ocean. Completely submerged in water. Start getting up to the top ones. This chest has... It's a pretty good chest. Mushroom spawn egg. Cow spawn or some apples. A written book by me to the owners. And some homemade sexy axes, and then the legit sexy axe, which you can see they're the exact same, and I've made two of these. Four sexy bows, two sexy swords, these need repaired pretty bad. And on the other side, <coughs> let's see. Building supplies and blowing up supplies. It's a lot of TNT actually. Then, just go up one. Oh, shit. And, let's see. Just some reg prop 4 sexy armor. I'll, I'll probably sell. Do, like, a bit of a scam. You know, sell sexy armor for 10k, but it's really prop 4. I've got a couple customers on that. So, on the really good chests, let's see. All unbreak three prop four gear. Of course, no helmets. This this one's prop three, which I don't really count as prop four, cause it's not. So you can get some helmets for this. Anyways, that's a lot of good armor. Then let's go up one again, and you'll see in this chest. This is the armor I usually wear for PvP. Unbreak 2, most of it is sexy, 
see up here, it's just immortal. So, a bunch of Unbreak 2. Nice. You see I have a lot of prot for Unbreak 2 helmets, which I'm liking, because at least I can use this for PvP. And the gear I'm wearing right now is some Unbreak 3. I don't really use the sexy for PvP, actually. I r just use Immortal. So, last but not least, my Ender Chest. Hmm. Take a head. Let's take a look in here. 24 Creeper Eggs. 15 God Apples. 2 Sexy Axes. 3 Sexy Swords. A full Prop 4 Unbreak 3 Sexy Set. Almost another set. And then some more Sexy here and there. But everything in this chest is Prop 4 Unbreak 3. All the armor in this chest. Everything in this chest is the best stuff you can get on the server, basically. And I probably won't take any of this out and use it unless I'm being raided. Which won't happen. So let's go take... um look on the outside on how this thing looks so it's not that big on the inside but on the outside as you can see as we get closer down it is really big it's about 15 by 15 right there and then 16 by 16 from here to the other side what the fuck that was weird Go ahead, dive back down, and so basically, I have a two high, 16 by 16. So if anybody tried water glitching or Ender Pro glitching, TP glitch, anything, they're gonna get stuck in there and not go into my base. Then from here up to here, like two or three thick, is just obsidian. So they're not gonna be mining or Ender Pro glitching through there. Then on the entire outside is an air pocket, so if anybody tried TP glitching or ender pearling, they won't be able to get inside. There's still an air pocket for water glitchers. And there is obsidian on the side so they can't sort of twist their ender pearls on the way in. So it's pretty much unraidable. The only way you're going to raid me is if you overclaim, which is never going to happen. Because you're going to have to kill me like at least seven times. And still I'm not going to be going out if I die more than twice. And, but still those times I'm going to be having two sets of Unbreak 2 or Unbreak 3 on me. So GG to that. Like, favorite, subscribe. Stay in tune for more. I'll be coming out with a lot more videos soon on rating since the mini map came out. So, thanks guys, and I'll see you later.